What's up, robots, androids, and other mechanoid beings? Ruska here, and I finally finished snapping up my trio o Leos. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, I like, I like the combination I've gone with here. I've got two shields on this guy with the more heavier... Uh, let's see if it'll focus in like this. With the more heavier style. So, pretty good. And then this one, going with a more leaner aerodynamic look to him. And then my original Leo, with the original style, I only changed the... Oh my goodness. Defeated cannon fodder units. Uh, kind of getting used to this new setup here. So, but yeah, so as you can see here, I was able to was able to actually change the shoulder to one of the shoulder options, kind of like that style. And since it's going to be repainted, what are you doing that? Hmm. Off centered. Anywho, so these are going to be the Leos that I'm going to go with. Uh, they all have really cool backpacks and a lot of spaces for options. And by options, that's right. We're not done with these kits yet. Because I've got options. And more options. And more options. As this is no surprise. The uh, title of the video kind of gave that away. So let me get these and we'll unbox these three. And we'll see what everything's inside. So the first thing we're going to unbox is the Changeling Rifle from the Build Divers. This is, the, of course, the newer of the option sets. Uh, you can see right here, list price of 600 yen. Some of the various options that it can be. Yeah, so. And I think there's some, yeah, so some of it being used in the back. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use this this one for. This is the one I was most uncertain, but I had it. And I thought, well, at least I'll open it up. Worst case scenario is I don't use it, but I'm pretty sure I'll be giving it to one of the Leos. So, yeah. So, I think it's pretty simplistic. Yeah, just one bag of parts and a small instruction manual. I've used hand option parts before. So, I know the instructions are pretty simplistic on these, kind of like the Petite Bear guys, or Poochie guys, however you want to say. But yeah. And obviously, there's, it being used, there's no color recommendations, because it's a gray part, so you can easily customize it to whatever kit you're making. So, just these two runners. We'll take a look at the runners real quick. So, we just have H2 and H1, so this is the H2 runner, having some of the gun options and the front parts to it. Very cool. And then the H1 is going to be a, probably the body. Oh, it looks like some other parts too. But yeah. So just these two parts. Let's look at the next option kit. So the next one I have is the Power Arms... Power? Dur? Dur? That's weird to pronounce. Whatever. Uh, so this is from the Build Fighters uh, proper, as with the gym. Um, one of the support weapons. Lots of good parts for this. This is probably going to go on that double shielded Leo. Uh, giving him an array of heavy weapons. So, very cool. Uh, in here, yeah, a lot more parts. Well, not a lot, a lot. Smaller parts, lots of options to go with. Look at the manual real quick. So yeah, so we got basically gun mounts. You can mount which type of weapon you want. Different ways to extend the arms. And the whole mounting system for them. Creating long arms and folding them up and mounting the different weaponry on them. Showing how they have different connections for the different types you have. I may be able to put it just straight on the back of the Leo. I may take its backpack off and use 
one of these connections, but I kind of see. I'm definitely not going to do something like that. I mean, that looks cool for that kit, but not that. So this does... Looks like it comes with a rifle of some sort, which I may give to another unit. Yeah, so just these two runners. Let's let, take a closer look at the runners. So we have the first runner, E1. Got all the different connection parts here and the lines there. Rifle type accessory. And then we have E2, and it looks like some of my stuff got bent, but that's fine. I'm going to be able to clean that up. And yeah, there definitely is that rifle, which is great, because I think I'm going to give this to a different Leo than the double-shielded Leo. And I might probably be going with some kind of chain gun looking things for him. But we'll see. We'll see how everything looks once everything gets started. Pardon the cars and the noise outside. And one more box to go. And the last one I got, which is going to be more for that uh, sleeker Leo that I've got with the smaller shoulders, is the Build Booster Mach 2 from Build, the Build Gundam Mach 2 support unit, I guess is what they're going to call that. Uh, this thing looks like it's going to be able to kind of stand on its own if it wants, which might be kind of, kind of cool for some options. I know it also mounts to the back. Let's see what we got in here. Oh... Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out a way to not use too many of that. Um, pulls on the back. A lot more parts than this one. And let's look at the instructions here. So yeah, this one's actually got colored plastic, which is a little rare, but it's probably because it was much more signature thing for it. But yeah, so you got the lens, which I can paint. I'm going to paint all of that. I'm not going to use a sticker for the cockpit, for the pseudo cockpit. Yep, so different mounts. And this definitely can just be a thing on its own, but it also has its transformation here. So it can easily be a backpack, which is, that's what I'm going to go with. And the mount setup here is interesting because the Leos definitely don't have the uh, actual ports here, as you can see. Right here on the kit there's no actual like open spots for that so I, I can't really do what it's doing here with them which is fine because they can also be um mean weapons so we'll still have weaponry um, but yeah cool let's look, look at the runners real quick all right so the first runner is going to be the k1 runner oh, all the parts here Barrels and everything. Very cool. And then here's the K2 runner. Has the armaments and things like that. Awesome. And then the blue runner, the L runner, kind of holding it upside down, I guess, uh, is going to be more of the actual ship part and some of the more armory parts is where I can paint that. And then this decal sheet and we know what we do with decals that's right uh, for the most part I'm probably not going to use those decals all right well I'm gonna snap these together kind of figure out my configuration and I'll be back soon with how we're going to improve seam lines and start our whole painting process all right see you guys thanks